perhaps the most entertaining Hall of Famer in history. The following contest is a two out of three falls match, making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! He's held the Intercontinental Championship, multiple tag team titles, and Kishi may be the best dancer in WWE history, besides you, Cole. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Hey, did you guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes to get ready for my eighth grade? Anyhow, Corey, what do you think about Rikishi and his career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, yet dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard-hitting, and no one has more fun than the big man. What about me? Saxton, get off the desk. This is not permission for you to twerk. Ah, raising the roof, Corey. Watch me. Six foot four, 350 pounds of range. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. I don't think there's anyone that is quite as intimidating as Umaga is. I've got to agree with you, Cole. Umaga has provided absolutely unmatched brutality in WWE. Here we go, guys. The two out of three falls match. The... Uh-oh. He turns it around. I've said it before, but it's really paramount to pick up the first fall of a two out of three falls match as quickly as possible. That's how you set the tone and pace. You want the competition to be facing an uphill battle. Crank in the head. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Quick return to the ring. He's been placed in the corner now. Headbutt by Kishi. Oh, Rikishi. no. Getting his opponent in position. Turn out the lights. The party is over. Oh, shaker. Rikishi got all of it. Two. Somehow he kicked out. There is not a more terrifying sight than Umaga kicking out after you hit him with your best shot. Though you got to believe he'll be looking for the kick. Nasty headbutt delivered by Rikishi. Ready to inflict more damage. Here it comes! Rough shaker! And Umaga's laid out. Two! Oh, kicks out, kicks out! If a kick out like that isn't a wake-up call as to the kind of monster, the kind of beast that Umaga is, I don't know what is. That was the home run shot that got robbed at the fence. Out of the ring and into hell itself. And he has an answer for Rikishi. Boom! Oh, oh uppercut! That'll knock you silly. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before and it doesn't end well. He's heading back to the ring. 
Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. Hit. We've seen that win matches for Umaga. He's still in this fight. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. And I think we all know this is only going to make a monster like Umaga even angrier. Oh, did you hear that? Incoming. Bang! Basket. He's getting a little batter now. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Comes back into the ring. What a headbutt. Vicious. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. There's irony with him grabbing a stop sign when I'm pretty sure he's about to hit the gas hard. Oh, caught on the chin. Into the cover! A defiant kick out after one. Wow, I thought this was over. Oh, stiff headbutt. from Umaga. Oh my gosh! With one hand! No, oh, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Here he goes for the win! Then he closes it out. Almost ended it there. Good lord, scarily close to three. He clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. Look at him now. He realizes he's holding the great equalizer. Able to avoid there. And that was a well-executed attack. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out. But no one is thinking about quitting. Oh, strong impact. And he barely evades. Slam. Oh. Oh, able to counter. Riding up. Boom! Samoan spike. Can Rikishi come back from that? With that, he scores the fall there. Just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. There they go. Sit right back. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Unloading with an uppercut. He's in a bad way, guys. There is no way this can go on for much longer. And deep into the match, Rikishi is taking on more offense. Yeah, feeling like the home stretch here. It's no time for Umaga to hold back. Oh. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. A baseball bat? With a weapon like that in play, this is not going to be good. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. With an uppercut. Oh! 
He turns it around on Umaga. Boom! Umaga with a retaliation. Rikishi now starting to bleed. Oh, stiff uppercut. Overhand connects. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Catches an uppercut. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. He'll head to the ring. Umaga. Watch, watch the power of Umaga. Oh my God. Rikishi able to dodge that. This, uh -oh. And he's able to reverse. Pulled in from belly to belly. And Umaga signaling to the WWE Universe, but he's giving his opponent a lot of time to recover. Clearly waiting for that. Rikishi hoisting up his opponent. Rikishi! Drago! Rikishi may have put the exclamation on this one. Late in the match, he scores a fall. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out. Suplex. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Two count. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Here is your winner, Rikishi! And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room.